Have you ever found yourself pondering the age-old question, why do the righteous suffer? Welcome, dear viewers, to a journey of discovery as we delve into the enigmatic verses of Job 2 verses 7 to 8. But before we unravel this mystery, please subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content that delves into the depths of biblical wisdom. He lost everything, even his health, but Job's response will shock you. Discover the hidden truths behind his affliction and find solace in your own trials. Uncover the deeper meaning of Job 2 verses 7 to 8 and learn how to rise above your darkest moments. Our story begins in the land of Uz, where a man named Job lived, a man of great wealth and righteousness. Job's life was a tapestry of prosperity and joy, a testament to his unwavering faith in the divine. The scriptural narrative portrays Job as a righteous and blameless man, blessed with abundant riches, a loving family, and the favor of the Almighty. His story unfolds like a picturesque tableau of divine grace. Yet, the winds of fate soon shifted, casting a shadow over Job's idyllic life. In rapid succession, calamity struck, his flocks were stolen, his children perished, and his own body was afflicted with painful sores. Job's suffering was profound. His once flourishing life was reduced to ashes. His friends, attempting to make sense of his misfortune, questioned the very foundations of his faith. And here we arrive at the heart of the mystery, Job 2 verses 7 to 8. Let's unravel these verses that have perplexed theologians and scholars for centuries. The scriptures state, So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. The question arises, why would a just and loving God allow such suffering to befall a faithful servant? To comprehend the profound meaning of these verses, we must step back in time and understand the ancient context. In the celestial court, a dialogue unfolds between the Almighty and the adversary, Satan. Job becomes the focal point of a cosmic test, a test of faith, integrity, and the strength of the human spirit. God permits Satan to afflict Job, not as an act of cruelty, but as a demonstration of divine sovereignty and the resilience of true faith. Job becomes a symbol of unwavering trust in the face of adversity. Job's response to suffering challenges the conventional understanding of divine justice. Rather than cursing God, Job clings to his faith, grappling with the profound mystery of his affliction. It is here, amidst the ashes and brokenness, that Job discovers the transformative power of suffering. His ordeal becomes a crucible, refining his faith and illuminating the depths of his soul. Job's suffering serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the profound nature of divine wisdom. The broken pottery becomes a symbol of the fragility of life, yet through this brokenness, Job finds a deeper connection with the divine. The mystery of Job's suffering transcends the boundaries of time and culture, inviting us to ponder the complexities of human existence and the divine plan that unfolds in the midst of our trials. In the final chapters of the book of Job, we witness the restoration of Job's fortunes, his health, and the birth of new blessings. His steadfastness in the face of suffering becomes a beacon of hope for all who navigate the tumultuous seas of life. As we unveil the mystery of Job's suffering, let us not only seek answers but also embrace the transformative power of faith amidst the ashes of our own challenges. Job's story reminds us that, even in the darkest moments, there is a divine purpose at work, a purpose that transcends our understanding. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the heart of biblical wisdom. If you found this exploration meaningful, 
please subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content that delves into the profound mysteries of faith and existence.